Welcome back to the channel family and today I got the zombie guide you didn't know you needed This is zombies 101. This is for the casual gamer This is for the dude that doesn't know what an acquisition is. You know what I'm saying? Like what are y'all talking about? Because when I got on these zombies the last zombies I played was black ops 2 so they talking about accusations, they talking about x file x fields they talking about this, they talking about that, I had no clue what the hell was going on. But lucky for me, I got in a game that was very knowledgeable, he pretty much held my hand like a little baby, and we uh, we ran through the map, he kind of laid it all down for me, and then I got some, some good hours into zombies. So now I'm going to bring that to you, man, and uh, we're going to start right here, right at the home screen. So what you get here is uh, where you get the kind of get the meat and potatoes of what zombies is okay so i'm going to turn this shit down in my headphones it's too loud for me man it's too late for this loud music all right so if you go over you got the lobby obviously we know what that is right so first things first the missions now if you go over here to the bottom right it says story missions if you see here i'm 30 33 percent through act one you can click on it and you can see what missions that you're on and so here if you don't want to do this one right away, you can go to this one, click on it, and press X on it, and now that's the mission that you'll be on during the next uh, time you, you jump into the zombies game. And then after you complete it, it'll go to the next one, and next one, and so forth, and so on, right? And uh, at the end of this, it gives you like a story mission, as you can see right there, right? So, and it, these are really simple. All you do is you, you read what it says. It says, uh, kill zombies with cryo freeze ammo mod. Slow 10 hellhounds with the cryo freeze ammo mod. So you will get the ammo, the cryo freeze ammo. You will slow the zombies and you would kill them, okay? Super easy, okay? Um, now this is where it gets um, a little... This is this is this is the part I didn't get when I first came, right? So, this is your gear. This is what where you'll go before the games, okay? So you get first and first, first and foremost, you get to choose your operator. So I have a spawn here. If I press R1, I can change my operator, okay? So now I have this guy. Now, one thing that I want you to know that I did not know, when you go into a game and you exfil with things, you obviously get to bring things out with you, right? Things that you cannot uh, bring with you are the things that you see on the bottom left hand where it says rocket and you can see the bags I have. I have the bag. I have the uh, UAV. I have the um, armor plate. I have the tack mask. Those are things that um, you, you cannot bring with you outside of the game. Okay, so if you get a bag, if you get um, a a three plate chest and you want to take it out the game and save it for later it does not work like that i tried it i tried to take a three plate out to give it to my other operator and it just disappeared so now the next thing is when you you have your operator you exfil say you exfil weapons you exfil these uh ethernet tools uh these eight ether tools um you can share that between operators okay so if i wanted to i could take this unequipped it Okay, and then go to my other operator and uh, go here and equip the RPK just like that, right? But things that aren't shareable are the things that you see, um, let's see, right here. These things right here, they're not shareable, okay? So what you get on this guy, the self-revive, the mask, the um, armor plate, the rucksack, that's all specific to that operator. You cannot share it, okay? Um, so now we go here. Things that you can share equipped, unequipped. They have things called acquisitions. Now acquisitions are things you pick up such as these things. You got uh, ether tools, you got perks. You can pick up perks in the game, okay? If you don't use them, if you decide not to use them or you wanna save them for later, you can uh, bring them back and you can use them for a different game. You have, uh, these are uncommon ether tools. So here's the thing about weapons when you get a weapon in the game it could be an epic weapon it could be a blue weapon it could be a green weapon after the game is over with the gun goes back to gray okay you keep the attachments on the gun but it goes back to being gray now these things right here allow you to upgrade your weapon to green or in this case to blue right away right so you get in the game with the gun that you x filled with you take a rear ether tool, ether tool that you got from the last game that you exfilled with, and now the next game you go into, you can use the ether tool to upgrade your weapon. Now, 
these uh, rewards. Oh, no, nah, that's not what I want to show you. Right here. So yeah, okay. So these are just rewards, right? Same thing. Same same uh, thing as the other thing. You can equip. So you can equip any of these things you want, right? So if I wanted to bring in a uh, quick revive can, I can. I'm actually gonna bring in a blue ether tool. I'm actually gonna run a game for you guys too, so you guys can see it. Um, and then you you can get these uh, etherum etherum. Who I can't say that. I'm not gonna say that no more. Okay, I'm just gonna say eighth. You can get these eighth crystals here, and what this does is it allows you to pack and punch your gun right away. Now we're gonna get into the pack and punch in the game because it's a little. Uh, I needed a little explaining, but I got it. So now these things that you exfil with when you bring them into the game if you die you lose everything okay you lose you lose your uh armor packs you lose your uh your acquisitions your perks you lose everything so now look if you exfil with acquisitions in the next game like say here i'm taking my stamina and i'm taking the blue ether tool i go into the game and i use them they're gone Right, you use them, then they're, they're no longer gonna exfil with you. Whatever you get in that game is gonna exfil. But if you use the item that you exfilled previously, those items are gone. But here's the thing: now you, there's things called uh, schematics. Schematics are something that you can use all the time. So if you get a schematic, so this is what you actually are going in the game to try to find. If you get schematics, like say I got a stamina up can schematic, right? Schematic. So I can craft the stamina perk every three hours so i'll do it right now i crafted it now i'm going in the game with the stamina perk <clears throat> if i go back to the crafting i go to the perks it's on cooldown i have two hours and 59 minutes but the cool thing about it is, is that you can get things like the ray gun you can craft this the uh wonder gun you can craft that right you can if you get one of these uh epic ether tool you can end into the game with the epic weapon every however long the cooldown is you can enter in with the tier three uh, pack and punch you know what I'm saying so that that's kind of how the X fills work uh, you can get ammo mods etc so <clears throat> what I'm gonna do now is is before every game you want to make sure that you uh, are your set you know you, you got what you want you got um, the weapons that you want to use for me I think I'm gonna take uh, the shotgun and I'm gonna take the RPK I have a uh, epic rucksack I have a sentry gun I have a uh, two armor armor kit I have a purple ta uh, tactical mask and I have a self revive what I'm gonna bring with me is I'm gonna bring uh, the blue ether tool I'll bring a green one just because I have so many and then I'll bring a uh, I'll bring a pack and punch right away right and then lethals will bring a Molotov so this is what I'm gonna start the game with so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go into the game and I'm gonna show you how to do contracts. I'm gonna show you the different tier levels of a pack and punch. So actually, you know what? I need to get this because I am trying to do this mission right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go to the rewards and I'm gonna get this. What I need to do, do is not pack and punch my gun right away because if I do, I won't be able to do the test. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. That's how old people do it. They talk to we talk to ourselves. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get in this game and I'm actually gonna sh go through some stuff with you. We might not get tier three, but uh, I go through the different things in the game, the contracts, how to do the contracts, um, how to get essence. Essence in the game is the money, it's the currency. Okay, so you don't get actual money like you do in Warzone. You get something called essence. Um, essence gets you your pack and punch it gets you your perks etc etc now as you run around the map there's things you can loot just like in warzone a lot of times it gives you items that give you essence okay these guys look very try hard we'll see um i'm gonna show you the different tiers of pack and punch so how a pack and punch works is uh there's three different tiers you can't skip a tier right you can only get tier two okay let me let me see how it's so tier one gives you tier one pack and punch right there's three tiers in the map there's a tier one which is the easiest zombies tier two which is a little harder zombies and then tier three which is the hardest zombies each tier has a pack and punch so in tier one you can only get tier one pack and punch tier two you can get tier two pack and punch and tier one pack and punch tier three you can get all three pack and punches so now let's say you skip tier one and went straight to tier two and pack and punched your gun if it's still a regular gun 
it's still gonna be a tier one pack and punch you're gonna have to pack and punch it twice okay you get what I'm saying so you can't skip a regular gun to a tier two pack and punch gun it doesn't work like that so even if you go to tier two and pack and punch your gun it'll still be a level one gun it costs 5,000 for the first pack and punch it costs 10,000 for the second and 15,000 for the third so now if you're gonna pack and punch your gun you might as well do it in tier one and then go to tier two and get to level two right and I'll show you all the uh, pack and punches and everything the perks is all on the map which I also didn't know so I'm gonna do my best you know when I be playing games the tongue be coming out and I be trying to focus but I'm gonna do my best to uh, make sure that I explain as I go we'll try to we'll kind of cut out some of the uh, some of the filler killing zombies and stuff like that all right so we look at the map we have a uh, contract right here these are contracts that's a pack and punch these little things right here are pack and punches right here there's a tier 3 pack and punch and the tier 2 pack and punch is there's one right there there's probably one up here right here bam so now the blues are the contracts these are little objectives you can do in the game this is an infested stronghold I'll try to hit one on the way okay elemental pop these things right here they're perks right so if you move around you can see where all the perks are right so if I'm moving that this right here is a mystery box right these guns on the wall these are guns you can buy on the wall just like regular zombies so here's a uh, mercenary camp mercenary stronghold I'm trying to find perks for you guys ammo cache okay tombstone soda that's a perk right there uh, you can find juggernaut on here somewhere somewhere but you get what I'm saying right there's a dead shot perk right there so now <clears throat> we're in the game I can simply go to my to this right here oh shoot I don't want to do that I can go to I can go to my inventory what the hell just happened to it okay so I accidentally used it without I press when you press box on that you use it you see how my guns green so now I'll go to my RPK and what I use I'll use the blue one and you see how it turns blue now I use the uh, speed can I'll use the stamina can and uh, I'm not gonna pack and punch right now. I'm just gonna use the ammo. The so now I have all these perks, Put and I'm starting the game at level one. So we should be pretty good. I you know what I'm saying? Are they moving hella far? Found of you. Man, they must have a plan. So look, if I come here, let's go get inside somewhere. If I come through this, uh, you see, I don't need that, so I'm just gonna go and drop that. But you see, I, I picked up two wrenches. And it says the essence next to it. See, it says 15 essence, and it's stacking up. It's 45 now. That's how much that's worth. And when you pick up the vials, the vials are... Oh, shoot. Woo! Right. I kind of scared me a little bit. Oh, yeah. I still get... I still jump when this stuff... When... So, look. If you click the middle button and you click over, you can see what everyone's... Uh, Missions they're on right so I'm on slow zombies. I need to slow nine hellhounds. That's that's kind of what I'm trying to do now So what I'll what I'll do is I'll, is I'll actually uh, start a mission start a contract. I guess we'll just do it. Fucking just me All right, so here's the contract all you do is press box on it and it's gonna accept it and it's gonna give you coordinates This is a weapon stash one. So it's gonna show you where the weapon stash is and all you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, Go to it. I want them added to our stock that looks like a like uh, infested place too. So usually when you activate a contract and you start a contract hella zombies come all right Just just be prepared for that. Luckily, we're on level one. So this should be relatively easy But you never know This is kind of a shitty area to have this at, though. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, shit. Ooh. And I 
if you look if you look at the uh if you look at the top left of the screen it shows that oh shoot these motherfuckers is fast it shows how much time is left right bring that thing over here So now the contract is complete. What you get, oh. What you get is a little reward here. So in this reward is where you'll probably get most of your good stuff, right? There's still a zombie around here. So we got a speed caller can. I think I actually already have one, so I'm just gonna keep it. I might take this though. I never used this yet. I like that. Okay. So that's how you do a contract, right? So now if you come here, this this is an infested uh what I'm gonna do actually since I'm by myself. I'm just gonna go in a pack and punch right now. I should have So when you come to things like this, if you see here, it says infested stronghold. So this is like a uh, objective you can do in the game if you come here this thing will be invested and you, you can uh, shoot all the scores and you, you you get achievement and it has good boxes in there right if it gets a little bit too crowded just do what I'm doing so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go up and come down. Is there no door here? Where's the door at? Oh. Alright. I'm getting just smacked convoy, doing this, huh? Oh, they're, I think they're doing legacy. Jeez, can I get in here? Where's the other one? There's, there's, there's probably one more, yeah. Oh, that's not one. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'll go get the monkey. Go get the monkey. Oh, this motherfucker don't care about the monkey. Get the fuck away from me! These objectives they ain't, they ain't the easiest thing sometimes. We gonna kill this thing though. There's these, these zombies over here, they're little uh little special zombies. You know what I'm saying? Jeez, that's his. My 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 boy died already. Is that not it? Where's the other spore? So once you kill all these spores, that's usually a wrap, but obviously I can't find all of them. Do not 
not charged into toxic environment without protection. There we go. It has to be a... That's not it? What the hell are you talking about, bro? Where's the last one at? See, now what happens is when you start doing stuff like that, you lose your gas mask, so... I think I can actually buy a gas mask though. Should just went in there with this. Trying to find the last one, man. Where is it at? There it is. All right, so when you get the all the spores off, the, the toxic goes away, and this stuff usually has some decent stuff. That stronghold had me more nervous than a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Glad it's over. At least a lot of money. We got brain rot ammo. We got two uh, ether tools, which I don't think I'm going to keep because I have so many of them already. I lost all my partners, but that's all right. We can always join with someone. They're probably pissed. Self revive kit. That's good. We need that. Wait, do we don't need that? We have our own. So as you can see in here, there's a lot of, uh, oh yeah, we need that though. There's a lot of, uh, pretty good stuff you can get from doing little objectives like this. Now this was a small one. There's bigger ones, and obviously the bigger you go, the better rewards you get. But this stuff is not easy, especially the mercenary stuff, man. So now that the bags are full, I'll show you what these, what this Beautiful looks like. Punch. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go pack and punch tier two. So that's a quick to sell all you can buy a face mask. You can buy a two, uh, two armor kit. You can buy. So this mercenary stronghold key that is to get into mercenary strongholds, right? So if you come here, mercenary stronghold, when you go to this, if you do not have a key, you will not be, you will not be able to get in. Let me try to get somewhere, man. So now as you see, I'm in level two now. You see the zombies are a little harder here. Like if I was to use this, that thing, is oh. <laughs> I guess this thing is still a two, a two hitter quitter, huh? I like that. That's another cool thing in this, right? So like I lost my squad, uh, but you can still join with people. If you find another squad, you can ask to join their squad. So that makes it, that makes it, that's pretty cool. Especially when, uh, you guys are going in like tier three and stuff like that. What up, what up, what up? Can I join? What up, bro? No, my name is me. No, my name is There you go. I sent you an invite, bro. You're gay if you don't join, by the way. Glad you know. You said what? I didn't get You're an invite. You're you don't join. I'm going to join for real. This so I just invited you, bro. What should we? Covering your six. Okay. What about now? There we go. As I look for pendejo, oh shit. Yeah. So that's that's one of the things, you know. No one, no one want, no want to join with the old old man like me. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you get a person that joins, sometimes you get people like that. But also, um, even though he did say he invited me, um, the, the invite system is very, very finicky. Like it takes it takes a few times for the invite to go through for it to actually work, which is kind of why. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna tier two pack and punch. But I'm gonna show you that if I was to pack and punch these uh, this little weapon I got right here, that it would be uh, only five thousand because it would be a tier one, and then if I pack and punch the RPK that I have, it'll be ten thousand because it's already pack and punch with the tier one. Yo, make sure uh, if you, you guys enjoying this guide, man, make sure you hit that like button because I suck at guides, so I probably won't be making very many of them. This is about the only guide I could probably make for this game. 
Cause I'm Dookie stands But hey We're gonna be making some fucking Some weapon loadout guides You know In the hands of a Of, of a Of a shitty <gasps> I did not just do that Well You see how it costed uh, <laughs> You see how it costed me 5,000 Oh shoot, there's a mark, there's a mark. So look, if I go to, to it right now, watch this. It's gonna say 10,000, you see that? Instead of five. I can't believe I just did that. I really wanna try to get over here. Car, car instantly kills zombies. But it ruins the car really bad. So if you get in the car and you drive, if you go to a gas station, it'll heal the car. See how it says fueling, refueling and repairing? Oh yeah, I think I forgot to mention a really important thing. These these little blue things right here, these doors of the blue guy, that's the X field. That's where you go if you want to get out the game. If you got something good and you like, okay, I want to keep this, that's where you would go. Last thing I'll show you guys is how to exfil. So we're head over here. So now the point of exfilling is um, you get some good or you have a uh, found of you. You get some good or you um, are running out of time. But when that when that time expires, the gas from this thing right here will start to expand. So it's just like in Warzone, how the gas comes in that starts to expand and uh, you die. So. You don't want to be there when that's happening. All right. Obviously, the higher tiers you go, the better chance you have of getting schematics and getting um, the good drops. The goal, I, I mean, from what I see, the goal would be to get the schematics, right? Because the schematics is something that you can uh, keep forever, right? You can go into the games every few hours with, with the loadout that you want. So, uh, and obviously, you know, the ray gun schematic and stuff like that. Those are going to be the, the big things. Um, but, you know, looking at mine, I don't really have anything that's worth uh, X filling with. But I'm X filling with this. So um, things that you have are like uh, essence, leftover essence. Um, we'll say uh, leftover essence. And then, uh, like, say I, say I had a, an armor plate or something that I stole. Those things would turn into experience, right? So, the two little wrenches I have in my bag. Uh, the, uh, the essence I have left over here. These things would all be... Oh, throwing knife. Nice. So this would be essence, this is essence, and obviously this is essence. Those are gonna turn into experience points for me. But now when you hit this X field, a dummy amount of zombies come. So when I call for the X field, it's just gonna be a just ridiculous amount of I hear you. Sentry gun deployed that come out of nowhere. This is a really great way to farm weapon XP too. Very good way. Eyes up, strike team. I'm almost there. So, like, when I get the sniper and I unlock, I unlock some of the guns that I, that I really want, this is exactly where I'm going to be coming to uh, level it up. I think, I think what we're going to do is, uh, 
I don't know, if you guys haven't seen my video of me playing multiplayer, man, go check that out because I'm trash. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna try all these different guns out and we're gonna see, we're gonna see which ones, uh, We're gonna see which ones actually, uh, when I put them in my hands, if it's gonna turn me into a beast or not, you know what I'm saying? If not, it's a lie, it's not meta, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna jump in there, I'm gonna jump in there with the shotgun, I'm gonna jump in there with the snipers, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna miss a few shots, but we also gonna make a few shots, you know what I'm saying? But look, man, that was the, uh, the guy. Now, if you see, you know, the stuff I got, it turned in. So, the essence I had turned into an extra 1,000 XP or extra 901 XP. Um, and then the things that I get to keep, obviously. Oh, did I not get to keep the, uh... I don't think I got to keep the, uh, the non-lethal, too. Watch, let's see. So, <sighs> now the game's over. You go to here, you get to go to your gear. Now you can see I still have the stamina up can from last game, okay? So if I missed anything in this guide, this was supposed to be a really rudimentary, like, uh, dummies, one, zombies for dummies, you know what I'm saying? People that aren't don't know the style of zombies, because I'm used to the style of zombies where we would run on the town, we would get all the perks, get the pack and punch, keep pack and punch, and line the zombies up and just keep going until the zombies was just way too much, right? It was just retarded fun and I that was what I'm used to so when I came and played this I was like I have no clue what's going on I don't understand anything and the guides were guides for people that kind of already knew what they were doing so I wanted to come by and make this if I missed anything or if you want to get a little bit more in depth make sure you do it in the comments help each other out uh, you know what I'm saying it's no need I know Call of Duty is a very uh, What's the word? Very toxic community, but let's not be toxic down here. Let's help each other out, man. Cause we all family, man. Fit hot gaming. Out of here.